Hi, I'm Chris Panino. Uh, my name is Jimmy Chen. I'm Dan Maybe. My name is Ade. My name is John Shahid. My name is Holly Carton. And we're coming to you today from the SciArc Main Gallery for the SciArc Edge program, Design Theory and Pedagogy final presentation. My project is called Parks, Power Lines, and Open Spaces. It's a proposal for a large scale park network throughout Los Angeles County. It's inspired by the 1929 proposal from the Olmsted firm. Because everything is so overbuilt today, I'm proposing to reconstitute this network from the spaces within existing infrastructural easements. A big thing I've tried to focus on is taking the work that individuals and individual organizations are doing and then getting those priorities and projects to connect in common ground spaces. You know, just by getting people to recognize that there is all of this open and connecting tissue within the city, uh, we can start to build, you know, a little bit of political activism around it. Now, the title of our project is Sensing and Simulation. It's a study of social interactions in small urban places. I collaborate with Ade to test how we can use machine learning and simulation to help on evaluating the design proposal. We try to say, can we use AI as a way to learn more about how humans behave in spaces? So it took 10 days in which we tried to teach students how to use AI in a different way. It was more interesting to understand how the students respond. In using AI, are they able to get to design concepts earlier? How can we bring back to the, like, the physical perception of a space into this process of, of image making? The title of the project is Pleroma. It is a multi-pronged cultural platform aiming to bridge pedagogical gaps between academia and broader ideas of cultural production. The texts and artifacts that are produced on the wall are uh, a culmination of ideas that we have encountered throughout the program. All the artifacts here on the wall, on the table, on the screen, all reflect a very careful survey of contemporary cultural artifacts uh, as we see them applied to ideas uh, found within the academy of knowledge dissemination and knowledge production. The process of curation becomes less about an individual curator, but more around the institution and academic needs. The idea of the platform is kind of like vacuum that takes in all of these objects through like the work of students, it seeks to like bring in objects considered contemporary or ideas considered contemporary. So the title of my project is Random Chats in Pedagogy. Uh, my work is mostly looking at the different lecture styles of the lectures here at SciArc. Yet my work here today is mostly about the responses of the different lectures um, that I asked different questions of. The main position of my pedagogy was to look at the different lecturers' pedagogies because I wanted to understand how they were trying to impart the information they had to their students. So my pedagogical position is mostly focused on how other teachers are actually teaching architecture. If this course is called pedagogy and therefore it's supposed to be regarding the pedagogy and regarding the teaching of architecture, Part of it is obviously to teach the fact that there is a language game happening all the yeah. time and is community and border the exact same thing Got as it. a language game. A, but B, also how do you draw those spaces? How do you draw community? I think that projects like this will seek to lead in to the current framework and redefine the way that students, educators, uh, and practitioners deal with the field of architecture. I think the question here was like, maybe can we unpack tools and technology is a thing that can help us be more creative and help us learn more, instrumentalize the work. And my role is not to teach them skills or teach them tools, it's more showing people how they can find magic and inspiration in the world. 